Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, we're going to look at the parts of the female reproductive system. Um, this model is one of our models of the female reproductive system. It's kind of funny, I realize that was upside down. Um, let's go through the basic parts without this section on right now. The ovaries, down in here in kind of yellow, is the right ovary. And the left ovary is on this other part here. That yellow is the left ovary. The ovarian ligament connects the ovary to the uterus. This is the uterus. This, therefore, is the ovarian ligament. The broad ligament um, on this part of the model has been cut. See how this has been cut away? That would be the broad ligament. So the broad ligament in here is kind of down in this neighborhood, this connective tissue that connects the uterus to the pelvic wall. The uterine tubes, here they start in red, and these are the fimbrae at the end of the, uter of the uterine tube. This is the uterine tube coming down and connecting to the uterus. Uterine tubes are also known as uterine horns. So on this model, this would be the left uterine tube or left uterine horn. And then in here would be the right uterine tube or right uterine horn. This, of course, is the uterus. The uterus has three major layers. The innermost layer is called the endometrium. And this is the one that gets renewed every month in the normal menstrual cycle. The middle layer is the myometrium, and it's made mostly of smooth muscle. And then the outside layer is called the parametrium. The fundus of the uterus is the top of the uterus, here, and on this side here. The body of the uterus is basically almost all the rest of it, the whole big body of the uterus. The cervix of the uterus is the opening of the uterus into the vagina. So this is the cervix here. The vagina is a fibromuscular tube that leads to the outside of the body. And then we have erectile tissues in the female. First, the clitoris is here. And if I bring up this part of it, the clitoris is seen on the surface as this kind of little button. But the erectile tissues of the clitoris extend back on either side of the labias. And there's another erectile tissue here, which is called the vestibular bulb. Behind the vestibular bulb is the greater vestibular gland. And this produces a lubricating substance for intercourse. The labia minora is the inner set of lips. The labia majora is the outer set of lips. And I think that pretty much is everything on the female pelvis model. Um, urinary structures, I'll point out, this is the female urethra. And you may note that the urethra lies between the clitoris, or the top of the vulva, this whole region inside of the labia minora is called the vulva. So the clitoris lies at the top of the vulva. Then we have urethra, and then we have vagina. So the urethra is between the vagina and the clitoris. The urinary bladder in the female is up here, and of course the uterus lies on top of the urinary bladder. So when a lady's pregnant, there's usually more pressure on the bladder. And then other urinary structures on this model. This is the ureter coming down. And if we follow that ureter up, we'll see the bottom of a kidney. That's the right kidney. Um, other structures, as long as we're here for digestive system, this is the end of the large intestine. This would be part of the sigmoid colon. And if we keep coming down, we're in rectum. And then finally, anal canal. And the orifice on the outside would be the anus. 
I think those are all the major structures I can show you for urinary and reproductive and a bit of digestive in the female pelvis model. Thank you again for watching.